Hey everybody, it's Ben at Rock the Registry and I'm excited to be back with you all today uh, in part because I have a new print edition of uh, Two Months to Mastery. Uh, I'm really excited about the print edition of this book. Um, I think it's going to help us all uh, understand a little bit better how um, to prepare for the registry, how, what's on the exam, and what's the best way to study that I've found. And I've, I've passed three registry exams now. So, uh, but today specifically, I want to talk to you about Penumbra. And so to, to do that, let's, let's just ask the question, what is on sharpness? Some instructors may refer to it as geometric blur or focal spot blur, um, but probably the best general term for it is penumbra. Um, it's controlled by the focal spot size, the object to image receptor distance, and the source to object distance. So it can be plotted and diagrammed. It's, it's easy just to kind of draw these kinds of drawings and, and see. And what we're so seeing is with a, with a point source of radiation, like this illustration here on the left, the lines diverge and the object would be slightly magnified because of divergence, but the shadow would be a true shadow, what we would refer to as an umbra. But any source of radiation has some dimension to it. It's not a point source, so it has a focal spot size. And due to the focal spot having a size, it projects diverging lines in uh, different geometrical patterns. And, and we largely refer to this as penumbra. It's, it's like a false shadow. And so it's indicated by the gray area on the illustration on the right. So the umbra for this illustration is the true shadow. It's that black part in the center while the penumbra is an area of, of blurriness or unsharpness, um, making it difficult to say precisely how large the object is. And it should be pointed out that as the penumbra grows, um, it grows both outward and inward. So it starts to eat away at the true shadow, the umbra. So um, I'd encourage you to draw these kinds of drawings to help yourself better understand. But for us, sometimes the math is just the best way to go about it. So for our purposes, the formula for penumbra is focal spot size times the object to image receptor dis distance, and then both those are both uh, divided by the by the side, the source to object distance. And we have to remember, um, there's always kind of, a lot of times when the registry sets up these problems, they try to trick us by like giving us like the SID, but not the SOD. Uh, for example, which we'll look at here in just a sec. So just remember that the source to image receptor distance equals the, the source to object distance plus the object to image receptor distance. So if I wanted to say I was given the SID and the OID, but I didn't have the SOD, I could subtract the OID from the SID to get the SOD. So I'll show you what I mean in just here a sec. So here's an example of a problem. Using a one millimeter focal spot size, what is the amount of unsharpness seen on the heart if it lies 10 inches from the image receptor at a 42 inch SID? So remember that what they've given us is a SID and an object to image receptor distance. So we're going to find the SOD. We're going to subtract 72 minus 10 to give ourselves 62 inches. Now we can plug into the penumbra formula and we don't need to worry about converting from like inches to centimeters or something because the inches are just going to cancel out. So if we set it up uh, one millimeter times 10 inches divided by 62 inches, the inches cancel out. So we're left with 10 millimeters divided by 62 or 0.16 millimeter. Um, so there is some degree of unsharpness and it's precise. It's, we can actually calculate the amount of blurriness on the image. So thank you all again so much for tuning in. Uh, definitely check out the print edition of Two Months to Mastery or any of the books. And please like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos. I'm doing this just because I want people to know more about this subject that I love so much. Thanks.